Let's see what's behind door number one. Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dupes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the storage unit. And as you guys can see, I really haven't gotten too much work done in here. So I figured while I was here pulling some orders that need to be shipped, I'd give you guys a little insight on what some of my plans are for organizing this madness. So let's pull some orders, take a look at what's sold this week on eBay, Etsy, Macari, and Poshmark. So those are all the platforms we made sales on Monday through Friday. So let's go ahead and pull some of those orders and then I'll sit down and show you guys what sold, stuff that's not actually physically here. And then uh, in between all that, I'll give you guys a quick little rundown of what I plan to do with this storage unit. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from a storage unit uh, it has been a tough day. I had this killer headache. Storage unit had so many people in there. I just couldn't find a couple of items, which is a good thing because, you know, I go and I film this video and I look for the to pull orders. And so now I know that in the next day or two, I have to locate these items. But we're going to go ahead and show you guys now what has sold this week monday through friday on ebay macari etsy and believe it or not we are back on the board on poshmark thank you god made a couple sales on poshmark and that definitely always helps you know i put in a little bit more work this week on poshmark and definitely paid off with a couple of sales so let's go ahead and just start off with what sold on ebay so the first thing that sold on eBay this week was this vintage tin, um, Johnson & Johnson Band-Aid tin. And this was in a box that I un of like random old stuff that I unboxed on, um, on a live I did once. I'll put the link up top for you guys if you want to check that live out. And the buyer was in for $12 plus shipping on that. Uh, the next thing that sold is... My Fighting Irish, you know, guys, if you guys don't know by now, I love some uh, Notre Dame football. So this vintage Notre Dame New Era Pro Model hat. So this was a vintage uh, New Era. It was made in the USA. Um, and this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. The next thing that sold on eBay was this uh, Antique Johnson Brothers Clayton. It was the name of the pattern. It was a flow blue transfer wear covered oval sugar bowl. Um, so I recently started transferring over all my Flow Blue from Etsy to eBay to see how it worked. Um, this piece actually sold within like 24 hours and it actually had a chip on the lid, which is why it was only $60, but um, still a great profit on that piece. It just goes to show you that there's definitely items out there that you can still sell that have chips and cracks in them. Um, it always varies, but we'll do another video on that. Uh, so the next thing up was this RCA 10 Viking Pro 2-in-1 tablet. It came with the detachable keyboard. Uh, it all worked. Everything was fine. It was just kind of old. My neighbor was literally throwing it in the trash can. So I took that and sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. Uh, the next thing that sold is some more Furbies are out the door. I think this is like the second or third pair that we've sold so far. So only about 37 more to go. Uh, these sold for $6 plus shipping. That is all pure profit. So every dollar counts. Another uh, thing that sold on eBay this week. This was a really bad buy. Uh, I mean, it's not a really bad buy, but it was just I mean, stupid in a sense. I bought it for a buck at a yard sale a long time ago. Uh, when I first started trying to transition, expand my horizons on what to sell. And this was a PC video game, um, 18 Wheels of Steel, Big City Rigs. 
uh, and it sold for $7.19, but unfortunately I had free shipping on there, so which cost me like $3 and some change, so I mean it is what it is, but it's gone, it's out the door. Uh, another thing that sold this week on eBay was this uh, Braun Brita Coffee Maker Water Filter. It was a two-pack. Um, it was unopened, and that sold for $13.49 plus shipping. Uh, the next thing we have here, this was, I got this at a thrift store. It was uh, five bucks, I remember. It was at this new thrift store I just started going to not too long before lockdown. Um, this is a Noodle & Boo. Newborn gift set, two-in-one hair and body wash with super soft lotion. And this sold for $18.74 plus shipping. Uh, some more Time magazines have sold. They're out the door. This person bought two uh, magazines. They were all in for the two magazines for $67.48 plus shipping. Um, so that was a good sale for those two magazines. I think that puts our total up to four. And the next thing that sold was the last one of these vintage Art Deco um, style custard Vaseline uranium glass slip shades that are shaped like a shell. Um, and this one I got $80.99 for plus shipping. Up next is this uh, Arsenal Football Club gray jacket, full zip with the hood that rolls up in the back. Um, I went back and forth with this dude for a minute and I was just like, you know, I'm going to make a profit on it. I'm not going to go back and forth for over $2. So eventually we settled on a total of $37.85 plus shipping. Uh, so I got that for a couple of bucks at the thrift store. The next thing that sold on eBay was this political flag. It's like one of those little ones you hold at the parade. It was from the Eisenhower-Nixon inauguration in 1957. Um, it, it had some stains on it, and it wasn't like in the best of condition, but it was a cool little piece, and it was free. My mom had it sitting in a box. Um, so that sold for $11 plus shipping. And the next thing that sold, this was a really cool piece. I had this on Etsy for a while, brought it to flea markets, just hadn't had a chance to get rid of it. I've had it up on eBay now for a couple of weeks and it finally sold. Um, it's a vintage Turkish copper um, box bath. And this is, you know, what you would use to put your stuff that you use for the bathroom and you put it all in this and then take it to the outhouse, go to the bathroom and wash yourself up. And that sold for $69.99 plus shipping. And we have another Time Magazine. This one is Aretha Franklin, um, June 28th, 1968. And the buyer bought that for $20 plus shipping. So that is everything that sold on eBay this week. Let's go ahead and jump into Macari. Uh, so the first thing I sold on Macari, shout out to uh, my man Harry Humstone. You know, we... We both have this uh, bromance for teacups. So this was a really dope uh, Royal Albert um, dogwood, like with the all over graphic uh, teacup and saucer. And the buyer bought that for $37. That included shipping. Um, the next thing that sold was one buyer bought four of these Playmates Chicken Run plush, bean plush things. Um, and... This came out of that box of McDonald's toys and such that was in the garage, so pure profit. She bought one, two, three, four of those at $14 each, and I just put them all together and shipped them. Um, so four at 14 is what, $56, I believe. Uh, so yeah, so 56 bucks minus shipping. And then I sold these really dope Asics Gel Light 3 Future um, Camo and Black with the green uh, shoes. These were in super dope condition. I got them for a really good price at the thrift store not too long before lockdown. And the buyer bought these for $72 plus shipping. Uh, so now we're going to jump into the three sales on Poshmark. I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we are back on the board for Poshmark. So I sold three items on Poshmark. The first thing was this uh, vintage Molson rope hat that um, snapped back and it sold for $13. The next thing was this super large extra, I think it was like a triple XL uh, Harley Davidson motorcycle shirt from Seaford, Delaware. 
and that sold for $25. And then I had this really, really cool vintage uh, Baltimore Orioles 1995, I think it was. Still had the tags on it, um, all over big graphic. Uh, not all over, but a really big graphic on the front. And that sold for $35. So now we're going to take you guys back to the storage unit. Take a look at some things that I um, picked up that needed to be packed and shipped for Etsy. All right. So I don't know if I've talked to you guys yet about this Coke stand. But as you can see, this is a really dope old school Coca-Cola rack. Now, I... Need to probably want to try and take everything off, take some photos of it, unlist it on marketplace and offer up and see if I get any bites. But I was also thinking about possibly, as you can see, it does have screws here. I was thinking about maybe photographing it <coughs> and then listing it on eBay and you know, shipping it dismantled. So I don't know if what do you guys think about that. Uh, leave a comment underneath of this video and let me know if you guys think I should try and take this apart and sell it and ship it dismantled on eBay. As you can see, I also have a bunch of these Coca-Cola crates. Um, I've sold one before online, but typically these were bought for selling at the flea market because they sell really well at the flea market. So, I don't know. I might try and list a few on eBay. It can't be that much more difficult to ship than some of the other crazy things I've shipped. So, that's one thing. But, and then I have a whole bunch of other stuff from the flea market. This thing is really badass. This is a Monroe Shocks um, oil bin. So, I mean, that's probably going to be crazy to ship too, but... This might not be that bad. I mean, so that's something to think about. Then I also have some, I had some other odds and ends. This guy's listed right here. But ideally I want to be able to clear this space so I can walk around in a circle. As you can see, I've got all types of, you know, farmhouse and really old school stuff just stacked right here. <clears throat> this guy right here would probably be, it's kind of heavy, but I mean, I could probably ship that. So, I don't have the cord for it, obviously, as you can see. But, I do. It's a vintage Circle D Natalie Aluminum Fire Truck Spotlight, I think. That's what it is. So, I got some of these claw feet. I sold some of those already. I need to list more of those. Um... So these boxes have slowly been dwindling. These boxes were at one point all the way up here. And these were stuff that I took with me to the flea market. So what I'm thinking about doing is unloading all these boxes since there's no telling when the flea markets are actually going to start again. So I'm going to unload all those boxes and put them out on the shelves. And then maybe move some of this stuff against this wall. Um, same thing with, I got some more crates, old boxes over here too. Um, so maybe get those listed up there and then try to stack all that stuff up there. And I have these antique doll bunk beds right here too. But as you can see, the shelves are starting to clear out a lot. Um, I've sold, a, been selling a lot of stuff. So maybe it's time to reorganize all the shelving units um and then try and get some of this stuff you know i'm sure there's things in here that i haven't even listed yet i don't think i have these these are really nice etched watermelon glass um uranium glass pieces now you call it watermelon glass because it's pink up top and green on the bottom and they got a nice etching on them as you can see, Pyrex is dwindling bad. Shout out to Harry Humstone. I'm a, if you guys aren't subscribed to him, you gotta subscribe to that guy. He just picked up some really nice Pyrex. But yeah, my Pyrex is dwindling. I don't know. I need to go sourcing bad. 
So let's go ahead and start pulling some orders and then I will talk to you guys about some other stuff that's in the storage unit. All right. to come in here to get a sugar and creamer and I wanted to show Harry Humstone this thing used to be packed to the brim with teacups and saucers sugars creamers um, gravy boats but we've sold a lot of them so I know Harry likes his fine bone china so I'm currently in here trying to find a sugar and creamer. I think, oh, it is this, Nortaki, but I'm gonna have to double check. Oh, there we go. Um, so, and then, I don't know, maybe we reconnoiter this cabinet for something else here, but sold a lot of it. Man. So, what I think I'm going to try and do is, is these four cabinets right here, try and, if I can fit all the uranium glass maybe all the uranium glass I'm gonna start I used to have everything color-coded um, but now I think I'm gonna try and I'm gonna have to redo that keep all the Vaseline glass high-end stuff in there I gotta figure something out to do with this a lot of these glasses have been sitting here for forever might as well just keep the pictures up there still um, big items here everything that's small enough i've been keeping in, in that nice old school lawyer bookshelf as you can see though i got a ton of uranium glass down there i need to utilize that steel shelf over there better and i just kind of reorganize stuff i have pyrex over here because for a while there was no room over there so Still got some teapots, some flow blue. I'm gonna put all the flow blue in one place also. Always trying to keep these. I gotta get this listed. I keep talking about it and I don't have it listed. So, as you can see, I got my work cut out for me in here. Keeping all the platters and big stuff up there. Uh, more uranium glass. More uranium glass. That's not even listed, that set right there. Wedgewood stuff. See, most of my Wedgewood is still on the, like, this shelf right here is just, doesn't make sense to have all that on one shelf. All right, so we are back from the storage unit. Um, so I was able to grab mostly everything. There is a couple of pieces that I haven't been able to locate, but thankfully I think two of the three are here at Mod Duke's house. 
and one of them will just require a little bit of uh searching search and rescue is that what they call it search and yeah, rescue i think so search and rescue yeah so <clears throat> first thing up that sold on etsy this week pyrex my pyrex is running low uh, i'm just gonna be flat out honest with you people have been buying tons of pyrex especially since we dropped that pyrex video so i gotta figure some things out because i need to <laughs> find some more pyrex um she so lucky it's harry yeah harry got a crazy good score today um on youtube so that was wild but the first thing that sold on etsy this week was a pair of vintage pyrex cinderella uh, mixing bowls both size 441 the first one was a pyrex colonial mist the second one was a forest fancies i think the forest fancies is here in one of these boxes meant to go to the storage unit so i gotta check that um and so the buyer was all in for that order for 41 dollars and 74 cents and tell them where it's going no, and that's not the one. Oh, that's not the one? No. <laughs> yeah, we got an order that came in today. Oh, yeah. Um, that ships out this week, and it's like five Pyrex bowls, and they're all going to Washington. So that's literally from Washington to Washington. The buyer paid like $100 shipping, so it's insane. The Pyrex is insane right now. So the next thing that's sold, I've had these for a long time. I'm very surprised because they're really cool glasses. Um... It's a set of eight vintage Culver glass, mid-century modern. They're um, red and gold. They're Thai goddess highball glasses. And the buyer is all in on those for $95.29. The next thing that sold on Etsy this week was this vintage Royal Hager. It's uh, like a mint green asian inspired design planter um and that sold the buyer was all in for that for 25 dollars and 41 cents next up we have this is another piece we sold a lot of pieces this week that we've had for a long time which is always a good feeling because you know you you want to kind of clear space especially as you guys saw in the storage unit i'm trying to reorganize here and it's good to clear space so that when things do open back up we're able to really you know fill the storage unit with new items that are able to sell so this was a uh betsy bradley um it was a Knowles collector plate uh betsy bradley was the artist and the name of the picture on the plate was called open wide and the buyer was all in for that plate for 15 dollars and 11 cents the next thing up is this is another old piece it is uh noritake and the name of the pattern was fragrance it was a sugar and a creamer and this was actually in our clearance section so they got a really good deal the buyer was all in for the sugar and creamer for 45 dollars and 89 cents next up this is a really cool mug we uh actually sold starting to sell some mugs and this was a vintage raggedy ann and andy milk glass mug and the buyer was all in for that mug for twenty six dollars and nine cents more wedgewood we've we've been the wedgewood's been doing really well lately i feel like we've every time we do one of these what sold videos we're talking about some wedgewood jasperware so uh, i mean i have a box of it still so it's but it's still definitely moving this was a uh, beautiful vintage wedgewood uh jasperware pale blue 24 ounce dutch sacrifice jug and the cool thing about this piece is that it, the inside of it is actually glazed. And the buyer was all in on that for $84.92. Here we have another mug and another piece of Pyrex. So I picked up a bunch of these Pyrex mugs at, the, at a yard sale for a dollar a piece. Uh, I thought they would go for a little bit more. And instead of trying to sell them all as a set... I decided to break them up individually. So this one sold for $4.99 plus shipping. So the buyer was all in for $14.06. So that is everything that sold for us across all the platforms that we sell on. So it was not a bad week, not a great week, but um, every dollar counts, every sale counts, which is a good thing. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've been getting a little stir crazy. I really miss hunting for treasures. <laughs> It's not as fun as listing and packing and shipping treasures, but it's all part of the game and just trying to do what I can to get by day by day. I do appreciate all the love and support, all the new subscribers, the views, um, the comments, the likes. It does really mean a lot to us. 
we do really put in a lot of work and you know we were really had a great time on the two aussies uh channel two aussie thrifters if you guys haven't caught that live i'll put a link up top for you with uh myself rob the aussie vhs thrifter uh zahir ronnie hart from heart pickers uh it was an absolutely honor to be on a panel with those people uh actual true legends so that was really dope and then tomorrow night josie ma dukes and i will be live again um we will be doing a uh, reseller recap of the weekend and then maybe some other fun stuff and then you guys can have your fun with my dukes i know everybody loves my dukes they can't get enough of my dukes <laughs> But uh, yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we will see you guys hopefully tomorrow on the live. Peace.